Hi there, I'm Alan from Jonas Motorcycles and today we're going to talk about Alpine Stars' latest generation airbag, the Alpine Stars Tech Air 10. This is their latest generation airbag, taken from the motor GP technology of the likes of Marc Marquez, Fabio Quattararo, you know the rest that are sponsored by Alpine Stars. In terms of this airbag now, what we get compared to the last Tech Air race, Tech Air 5, is more coverage compared to any other airbag out there. This includes your full chest area, CE level 2, over your collarbone, down your shoulder, full back again at level 2 CE certification, and what everyone's been waiting for, full hip protection. Right then, let's talk about how you put this lovely product on. Undo the chest zip, which goes all the way down to the pelvis. Slide yourself in there, obviously legs first. Put the arms through. Once you're in, do up that zip, grab the kidney belt, pull it across your front, and put this in mind, this is not just a kidney belt, but this is how we activate the airbag, which we'll show you later on in the video. The Tech Air 10 has 12 sensors covered all over the body of the airbag. These sensors are the sensors that detect when the airbag should deploy. So these sensors work non-stop as you're riding to detect any abnormal movement. Any abnormal movement occurs, that airbag will inflate within that 40 milliseconds stated by Alpine Stars. The Alpine Stars Tech Air 10 has two riding modes. This will be race mode and street mode. We'll start off with race mode, shall we? The race mode on the Tech Air 10 only works on the racetrack on a closed circuit. So don't use this on the road just because the algorithms don't work the same with street and race. In race mode, the airbag will only deploy over 37 mile an hour on the track. All of this is all done through the gyroscopes, accelerometers built into the airbag, which when you're out riding, the airbag will notice that you are moving and as soon as you hit that designated speed, the airbag will then arm itself into its appropriate state. Once armed, the airbag will deploy if should you have a crash. This will be a high side, a low side with tumbling. When in race mode, the Tech Air 10 will recognize obviously the 37 mile an hour speed limit. Should you go under the speed of 37 mile an hour while on track, the airbag will take 10 seconds to recognize that you have gone under 37 mile an hour before the airbag will go into standby. If any chance you have a crash under 37 mile an hour and you've depleted 10 seconds, the airbag will not deploy. In street mode, when you have the airbag on, the airbag will run through a stability check before you go out on the bike. The stability check recognizes that you as an individual are wearing the airbag. The quicker way of arming the airbag when doing a stability check is probably walking up and down the stairs, getting your kit on, getting on your motorcycle or even moving around. You will notice that the airbag will be in its arm state when you get the solid green, but everything is explained in the instruction manual anyway for you. When it comes to the coverage in street mode, we're talking about high side, low side with tumbling, all the types of collisions that can happen. So front, rear, side collisions, collisions with any obstacles on the road, that could be a pavement, any potholes, anything like that. On the new Tech Air 10, we now have a new LED display unit, which is now on the kidney belt. As many of you will know, with the old Tech Air suit, or Tech Air jacket, the LED display used to be on the left arm, built into the jacket or the suit. On the Tech Air 10, it's now built onto the kidney belt. The best part now is that unit is detachable, as you can see. The unit is Bluetooth, which connects together with the suit itself, with the actual airbag. So with that being separated, you don't have to run it under your suit nowadays. With having the unit in hand now, will make it a bit easier for other people to recognize what status they're in. So no need to undo the jacket zip to have a look inside and see what the LED is. Simply take it off that, have a look at it, put it in the pocket, put it in the bag or whatever's convenient for you. Or if you'd prefer, just put it back. And as you can see, it's just telling us what the battery level is. Once the unit is back on there, it is charging itself. 
So when I remove the LED display unit, it is draining battery from the unit. In order to recharge the unit, you put it back on its dock, back on the kidney belt, and will recharge itself via the battery built in the airbag suit itself. Right, let's go on to the final bit. How do we switch this airbag on, shall we? Like I said before, on the kidney belt, the kidney belt acts as the activation clasp. Pull the kidney belt across, attach the kidney belt, wait for the LED sequence to start itself up. There we go. As you can see, the airbag has started itself up. At the moment, the airbag is in race mode for demonstration purposes. As you can see, the airbag has fully started itself up now. The green and amber just indicates that the airbag is in standby. Should you have green and amber, just remember the airbag is in standby. Should the airbag go solid green, the airbag is now armed. Those are your main bits to follow. Right then, that's it for the Alpine Stars Tech Air 10. If you need any more information, please visit any of your nearest stores or visit the website for more information. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and visit the website for any more of our products that we have in store. Thank you very much.